Okay, before we get started, Shivam, if you're watching this video, thank you so much for hyping me. I've been reading your comments. You're like my main hype boy. Just keep hyping me up, bro. Like, high five. And for those of you who don't have the slightest clue what I'm talking about, Shivam is one of my admirers. He always writes the sweetest comments in the comment section and he makes my day. Like, with his comments, he makes me feel like I'm some sort of a celebrity. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, as you can see from the title, we're going to be testing out some cheap products, cheap makeup products from Amazon. Usually, I refrain from saying the word cheap, but today I'm going to use the word cheap because these products are Cheap. I'm talking 30 rupees a foundation, dude. And before we get started, you guys know the drill. Do not forget to subscribe to my... My mom said don't say cheap, just say low budget. <laughs> she has a point. She has a point, okay? I mean, I'm gonna keep an open mind when I'm trying out these products. I'm not going in with a set mind frame that the products are gonna be bad. I'm gonna be giving them a fair chance. And you never know if you just find like a hidden gem out of it, you know? And also before we get started, you guys know the drill. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you're new here. And also give this video a big thumbs up. And hi, I'm Simi if you're new here. And I guess let's get started. This is a very bad hairstyle for this video. I don't know what to do with this now. Should I just put it back like this? I think I'm just gonna put it back like this. Okay, you guys, let's get started. I'm a little excited and nervous. This, what I'm doing right here, is called living life on the edge. You guys, like, I keep on experimenting with my skin. I have no idea why I keep doing that to myself, but we're doing this. Okay, I'm gonna just, uh, you know, like, really nicely moisturize my face before I start doing anything. I'm gonna take, like, enough moisturizer so that my skin is, like, a little away from everything. Okay, I have a bag full of stuff, you guys. In fact, I have a lot more products lying around just like that. I've ordered everything right from your lashes to your brushes to your makeup to your everything. So we've got like the full face of makeup from Amazon. Clearly remember I called for the primer, but it's not here yet. So we'll have to do without it. The primer and the setting spray, they were supposed to come together, but it's not here. So we're just gonna have to like bounce without it. Okay, I've cheated with a little bit of my own primer because I think it's just safe that way. And now moving on to the foundation. I called for two foundations. Uh, first one is the VLCC Glam Glow 10 in 1. 10 in 1 Skin Perfector with SPF 30. The price of this, my friends, is 30 rupees. 3030. And the other one that I have is the Faces Canada Weightless Matte Finish Foundation. Now, this one was for 199 rupees, so it's, it's a little on the higher end. We're going in with the BB cream first, you guys. It's more like a mousse. I like the texture of this, honestly. It smells floral. I don't know if you guys can actually tell the difference, but this one is too pale. Like, this is really pale, and the other one is too yellow. Uh, so, <laughs> yeah. Okay, I'm going in with the Faces Canada one. Okay, I'm not mad at it. Okay, this is not bad. It's like supremely sure, okay? Like you have to go over it to get some coverage. This is for like 200 rupees, so the pricing is like not very, very cheap. So for that price point, I feel like it's okay. Um, but anyway, I'm gonna try out the other one. Do you see that? It's literally like, it's it's not even flaking off, it's just like curdling up on my skin or something. Ew. You basically cannot pull it. If you pull it, it's just gonna come off like that. You just like bounce it so that it stays. Like you pray to God that it stays. Moving on you guys, I have the ADS Ultimate Contour Palette. And it's pretty ultimate because you've got like a blush, you've got a highlighter and you've got a color corrector, you've got contour shades, you've got concealer. So it is the ultimate contour palette. I'm gonna go ahead and use a concealer shade to just sort of brighten up my face. And yeah, I mean, it all looks a little plastic to me. I mean, it is very, very creamy, but uh, it's not good. Ooh, ew. <sighs> it smells of paint. It's... <laughs> Oh my god, it smells of paint! Okay, so this retails for 244 rupees for which you get so many different shades of paint. Right, <laughs> okay. Oh my god! Oh my god! What is this? Literally sitting on my skin, you guys. Like, it's not going in. What is this? 
anyway whatever is happening is happening in front of you guys okay anyway i'm just gonna go in with the darkest shade to sort of contour my face this is blending pretty well you guys okay so the contour shade actually is really nice it didn't feel as plastic as the other shades okay moving on for the setting powder you guys i have the blue heaven sapphire makeup translucent powder um and it retails for 125 rupees pretty cheap for translucent setting powder um in fact the funny part about uh, getting makeup from amazon is that when you when you type foundation it says foundation for face makeup i'm like yeah <laughs> and amazon be like i'm just checking i'm just confirming this actually looks a little brown but it smells oh it smells like talc too fragrant like heavily scented literally thrown in a bottle of perfume in there okay but honestly i don't mind the powder i think for 125 rupees it is not a bad deal although if it has like talc and everything that can that that's not good for your skin so just watch out for that and also because it's like too fragrant so if you're like if your skin is like allergic to fragrance or something you might want to stay away from it but this is it's like some decent stuff Okay, I'm doing some contour, like I'm doing some heavy duty baking with this, you guys. Like I'm cutting my face and everything with this powder. It's doing a decent job so far. Okay, honestly, the powder sort of saved my base. Moving on, I was looking for a blush and Amazon said, are you looking for a blusher? And I was like, yeah, I'm looking for a blusher. So it showed me a blusher palette. It's the beauty blush palette. It comes with four shades like this. Um, this shade right here has like chunky golden particles in there. Like it's too chunky. Definitely not going with this one. And rest of the three shades are pretty matte. So I think I'm going to go in with this shade. I hate to do this, but oh, do you see that? Honestly, I think I picked up a lot of product, but it's not bad. I just have to like blend it out now. But it's not a bad palette for sure, I feel. I mean, there is a lot of fallout in the pan. So if you can overlook this, probably go ahead with it. The product is by Swiss Beauty. It's the jelly highlighter in the shade 01. And it is pretty red and golden. So I don't know what to expect out of this. But when I got it, I was a little excited because it's a jelly highlighter. Do you see that? It's like... It's like glitter glue. Oh shit. Okay, we are doing this. So this is jelly. I mean, it is jelly. This is how it looks like. <laughs> I'm scared of this highlighter. I remember I used to like put on shine on my face when I was a kid and I used to go for like dance competitions and everything. And uh, the teacher or whoever would do my makeup would put stuff like this on our face. Like, you know, little glitter. They just throw glitter on our faces. I remember it very clearly. This feels like that. It literally feels like I'm about to have a performance or something. I have a bunch of eye stuff, you guys. I have like an eyeshadow palette. I have this one by Blue Heaven again. It's their Fashion Blush on Glitter Eye Glitters. <laughs> this is the eyeshadow palette. It comes with a tiny brush, which we're definitely not going to use. Uh, but the palette actually looks quite pigmented. I mean, the colors look really deep and pigmented. Uh, but we will find out. And there is no pigment whatsoever. <laughs> oh, there is something. <laughs> but the blue is like literally... So this is the blue here on my finger. And this is here when I like... When you translate it like that. So it's nothing. Literally nothing. These guys literally just said, what pigment? Pigment? What's that? So I'm gonna go in with this shade right here. This is a silvery shade. Um, yeah, so, I mean, there is some color, there's something happening. Honestly, it blends really well though. Like, I mean, it, it's blending really well. Not even kidding. Although there is no pigment, but it's not patchy. I'm gonna use this silver shade as my highlighter shade. Oh damn, it's like chalk, it's not coming off. And there is no pigment, <laughs> there is nothing, zero, <laughs> absolutely nothing. I'm gonna try and get something pure. Okay, okay, 
I think it's happening. There's something happening. Okay, you guys, I think I totally forgot about the brows. I'm gonna finish my brows first before I start with my kajal. I have the kajal also. I'm gonna use the Blue Heaven Eyebrow Definer. I've got a lot of Blue Heaven stuff, actually. I don't know, I mean, it just happened coincidentally. Um, so, the shade is brown. Honestly, the brow filler is not bad, you guys. I think this was just for 60 rupees or something. Uh, but I've used Miss Claire Brow Filler, which was also for 50 or 60 bucks for the longest time and I really love that product. This is not bad. I'm just using my own spoolie because the, the brow filler did not come with a spoolie. Okay, moving on you guys, I have this kajal, which I'm gonna try and smudge on my eyes. It's by Good Choice India or Fauve, I don't know, I mean, I can't really tell the brand name. This one is actually a pretty old school kajal. I remember I used to buy uh, Himalaya kajals like this. I'm just gonna keep it on my eyelid. I'm just gonna smudge the kajal out. Moving on you guys, I have a mascara by Blue Heaven again. I swear I wasn't looking for like Blue Heaven stuff. It just came like because I put the filter on low to high and... So this is their Walk Free Curling Mascara. It's waterproof and smudge proof. And yeah, this is the wand. So they have a curling wand. I'm not sure if this is really doing anything. Yeah, this is like... This is all right. This is not really doing anything to my eyes. Um, but I feel like the the mascara from Essence, those mascaras are really nice. Like those are some really good mascaras. I don't really have much to say about the mascara because it did not really do anything. It's it's uh, the product actually felt very light and liquidy. The good thing is that I have lashes and so many of them because I called for like the other ones and they sent me single ones like this. I don't know why and they, they sent me quite a few of these in fact. And with that, they also sent me two lash glues which are these ones so uh, yeah um, they look really fake and plastic so something like this um yeah i don't know how it's gonna look on my eye okay not gonna lie it doesn't look bad i mean i mean it looks fake af but it doesn't look bad Honestly, the lash band actually looks really nice. Like, like you don't even have to go and like fill out the lash band and just like, you know, clean it or anything because it's like, it looks, it looks okay. It looks good. Damn. I am pleasantly surprised. Okay, I think with that, it's just a lipstick that's left, you guys. I have the Mars Pro Color Makeup Collection lipstick. Uh, and <laughs> okay. Okay. Okay, so this is the shade. Oh, do you see that? It's it's more like a lip balm with a little bit of a shimmer in it. I mean, I could have used this as a highlighter. So basically, I got the lipstick and the kajal together for 99 bucks. I made a little bit of a little I thought maybe, you know, because it's a good deal, I'm getting the kajal also for 99 rupees. But little did I know that this lipstick is not really a lipstick, it's a lip balm. Okay, I'm gonna try and get it on my lips. I'm so glad I'm done. Uh, I feel like it was looking a little bearable before I put the lipstick on, but after the lipstick, this is... What do I look like? I mean, you guys tell me, what do you think I look like? And what's happening here? This, this is a lost cause, you guys. We're not even trying now, okay? Guys, I had the brush set, which I completely forgot about. So the brushes are really bad. I'm gonna show you the brushes. They're like very, very bad. These were for like 200 rupees or something. I have like a few brushes, which I think I can still work with. Um, like this is supposed to be a powder brush. Uh, it does not have any volume whatsoever. And then all of the other brushes are so like, they're like, they're flat. They have nothing to offer, honestly. Just look at that. Not recommend you to buy the brush set that I got. This is for 200 something. Not worth it. 
absolutely not worth it so do not get your hands on it so that is it for today you guys i hope you enjoyed this video let me know what you think about it also if you have more random ideas about such videos let me know in the comment section i would love to do it because it's so much fun trying out different things let me know in the comment section what you think about today's video because that's how i sort of communicate with you guys through videos right like if you let me know how you feel about today's video i'm gonna make like more such videos or i'm gonna stop making such videos so just please let me know what you think and also we're about to hit 200k very very soon i'm so excited for that because i have like a big surprise plan for you guys that i'm gonna announce pretty soon when that happens and yeah so don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up and also subscribe to my channel before you leave and uh, yeah with that that is it for today i'll see you guys next time bye